All right, beautiful people of the world, happy Sunday, fun day to you. Aaron Michael Eschenberg here, Honest Aim, bringing you your daily horoscope for Sunday, the 20th of December 2020. What is going on above that's reflecting human life down below? We've got the moon in Pisces. Moving through the middle degrees of Pisces today, it's going to form a little septile over there to Pluto and Capricorn before it conjuncts Neptune, home in Pisces. All right, so we're going to feel this septile happening first between uh, the moon and Pluto. Of course, the moon is our emotional needs, right? The reflection of the sun, Earth's natural satellite, our caring, our nurturing aspects of ourselves staying close to home, right? So these are our emotions that we wear close to our sleeves. What do we need today? What is our emotional focus on? In Pisces, <clears throat> the two fish, right? Th this is a great time of reflection for one. Great time to reflect back on 2020. You know, where have we been? <laughs> what have we been through? Look how much growth we have encountered this year. The shadow work that we've all been dealing with, the, the shadow work that we're concluding with as this year wraps up, you know, it's like an attitude of gratitude wins this day, all right? Uh, being thankful, being thankful. You know, it, it, it's like, think of the hardest, worst day of your life and, and know that we survived that day, you know? It's like knowing that, just simply knowing the, that we've experienced the worst day of our lives. You know, there might be a worse one coming up, who knows? But I'm just saying, like, we get over it, you know? Time heals these wounds, and then we can reflect and look back and say, okay, I, I, I surpassed this. I made it past this point. I, I, I leaped that hurdle and, and crossed that bridge. What else am I capable of that I'm unaware of how strong I really am? And that's the kind of the connection that's going on with Pluto here is, is remembering Pluto's in Capricorn. And Pluto's alone in Capricorn now for the first time in two years, okay? And it's had two very big, strong uh, elements with it. Saturn, its home ruling planet, and Jupiter, its neighboring planet of expansion, who wants to just make more, more government, more laws, more rules, more authority, more discipline, more structure, uh, you know? And, and it's just like, finally, Pluto gets this opportunity to create the change that it needs to before Saturn and Jupiter entered, you know, you know, before Saturn entered in 2019 or 2018. Actually, it was the end of 2017, if I if I remember, it was December, Dece right around this time, December 2017 is when Saturn entered Capricorn. Um, so this this energy alone is is like full transformation, full transmutation, right? Allowing ourselves to to sink sink deeper into our personal authority. Uh, and recognizing how strong we are, right? That Capricorn goat gets to the top of the mountain and nothing's going to stop it, you know? Uh, and it does it with a playful sense of ease. You know, I, I think that Capricorn energy gets a bad rap of being very stoic, you know? It's like, I'm a Capricorn, do I... Anyway, you know, so it's just like, it's a playful energy, you know, coming into our own authority and our own power is a very playful thing and understanding how much we've been through and how much we've, you know, we've come to grow, and to be joyous about that, you know, is exciting. So this is a great time to reflect that, right? So that Pluto uh, moon septile is a little bit of grace happening, okay? We've got these two guys. I'm going to talk about these two in a separate video altogether. This is a whole new energy, okay? Again, Saturn has been here since December 2017. Jupiter uh, since, uh, you know, a year ago, December of uh, 2019. So, so they've both been in Capricorn, which is law and order and government uh, and structure and discipline and all of these things that we've been talking about very heavily, you know, as I've been saying, you know, what's our daily discipline? What's our daily structure? You know, this is all shifted now, okay? So now we're focused more on technology. We're focused on the future. We're focused on the, the air element opposed to the earth element, which is very practical. Now, this is, you know, very fast moving energy here. Okay, so we have literally entered a whole new chapter, and I'm going to talk about, like I said, I'm going to put out a whole different video about just this Jupiter-Saturn um, conjunction here in the next 24 hours. Um, the, the, so, so either way, we should be feeling this new energy really kicking in. You know, everything from, this, from these two eclipses that we had, uh, you know, to where we are right now, just, just very shifted, very different energy, new, like peeling off layers of the onion. You know, oops, the last thing I want to talk about today is these two right here, uh, Mercury and the Sun. You know, Mercury surpassed the Sun on Saturday, moving ahead, and that's that, that Parmethian energy, right, of, of uh, 
Mercury stealing the fire from the gods and moving ahead of the sun. So again, imagine this as, as the light is in front of you. Okay, you're moving toward the light to get, you know, what you're after. You're achieving something from this. You're, you're extracting knowledge or whatever it may be. Okay, uh, healing, teachings. Okay, uh, so we extract this knowledge, Mercury, and then now we surpass the sun. We, we've grasped this and moved ahead. Okay, so there's this sense of the light is behind us. We're moving swiftly to the future with the thing that we have just received okay now the promethean you know story is that you know they stole the fire from the gods and gifted it to humanity so for us this is our insight coming up catching up to us and now we're able to it's like the process uh, uh, from from learning to knowing to understanding to teaching okay and this is again in the sign of Sagittarius, which is the philosopher, the the teacher, uh, you know, the the pastor, the religious scholar, whatever it may be. You know, there's this very high form of of, of thinking and education. Okay, so it's just like this knowledge has come to us. We we've been able to grasp this knowledge, and now there's a way to communicate and give it back. All right, now Mercury today is going to leave that 29th degree. So the Sun and Mercury both at 29 degrees today is very very important. Uh, especially with the Moon and Neptune conjunction that's coming up today at like 7 p.m., okay? Because Pisces is about belief, okay? Now, Pisces is associated with Neptune and Sagittarius is associated with Jupiter, okay? Both of these are planets of expansion. They're the two planets of expansion in the zodiac. Jupiter expands within the laws of the physical reality, which is Saturn. Saturn creates the perimeters, the boxes, Neptune is expansion beyond, which is why it's the dreams and the imagination and, and the emotional love and things like that, which, which there is no limit to those things, right? Um, so as the moon's connecting with Neptune about expansion of our dreams, expansion of our creative mind, expansion uh, of our imagination, right? Uh, expansion of the things that are of the non-physical, the feelings, you know, and when we have feelings, when our feelings align, you know, our heart and our head align together, this is how we manifest. This is how we bring things from, you know, from water, uh, air, and fire energy into practical manifested earth energy, okay? That's why the earth energy takes longer because that's the physical manifestation of the other elements coming together, um, if that makes sense. Um, so, so this, so Pisces is about belief. Okay, we've gone through this huge change. Pisces is about belief, and the 29th degree of of Sagittarius is also about having just just utmost faith and belief in the unknown, having faith in. I don't know what's going to come. And again, we have this great like reflection back, like I've made it past my worst days of my life. I've made it through the hardest, most traumatic experiences and I'm alive and I'm here and I'm well and I can choose to smile and I can choose to take a deep breath in and be happy, you know, or whatever. And I can choose to take a deep breath in and deal with the emotions if I'm not, you know, I don't want a, a spiritual bypass. You know, it's not always just about happiness. Sometimes feeling that pain is extremely important. It is extremely important, you know, so wherever we're at, but to like, breathe in and feel this and it's just like okay you know next move it's on me right i have faith in myself the next move is up to me and and i don't need an outside source of motivation i don't need something else to tell me to get up to to do something to take a sip of water to take the next breath to take the next step right it's having that complete faith and then Mercury moves into the practical Earth sign of Capricorn today. So we're, we have the Sun and Mercury. So mentally and ego, like we're, we're showing up to this. Like, okay, we're, we're going down this road. We're going down this journey into the unknown. We're going into this journey. We're concluding 2020 and the year that it's been, you know, of huge growth. Uh, whether we were like, you know, hate 2020 or love 2020, you know what I mean? It's, it's, <laughs> it's irrelevant because it's a serious year in history that we all, you know, we, we've experienced together. We're all in this together, right? Uh, and, and having faith and belief in humanity and, and, and these new power structures that are coming with this Jupiter-Saturn conjunction, you know, this is a whole new game that we're playing. You know, again, that's something I'll talk about, but this is, you know, from, from 100 years of, of Earth connections to now air connections, uh, and in the, in the Aquarian sign of future and technology in this digital age of Aquarius, you know, this is, again, a, a huge milestone for us cultivating a new era for the future, right? And having belief and faith in ourselves and our brothers and sisters, right, that, that together we can, we can figure this out.
you know, we can figure this thing called life out and move to a, a, a sustainable, happier place. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot going on. Well, happy Sunday fun day, right? <laughs> <laughs> threw a lot at you uh and then tomorrow and then on monday we got this jupiter saturn conjunction you know all right we'll talk about it more we'll talk about it then my friends the happiest of sundays of fun days to you we'll see you soon